Today I'm going to show you how to make a schedule so you can have a more organized life and find time to work on your goals or even just have some fun. My name's Melissa and this is How to Adult. Grab your pen and paper and let's get started. The first thing you need to do is write a list of your reoccurring priorities. I find the most common daily priorities are work and study, homework and study, cleaning, self-care and also logistics. Now here is an example of a scheduled day. You can see that there are two hours left over in this day. And you might be really happy with this thinking, I've got such a carefree lifestyle, two hours is plenty of time to do work. Well, this is a false illusion. And I'll tell you why. How much time do you spend on your phone? How easily do you get distracted? And how often is it that you just can't be bothered? I know there are plenty of times when I'm like that. Now I'll address how to handle this later on. Let's move forward. <laughs> now that you've got your priorities sorted out, you can make a schedule. So we will do a weekly one together. So put a little star next to your daily tasks. And put little time blocks for those tasks. Get yourself a diary page, whether it's from an old diary or a print off or even an Excel spreadsheet, it doesn't matter. Just go get the page and do your little blocks of time. I like to colour coordinate mine because it's easier to see the different tasks and also it just makes me happy. Now your top priorities are the things that you absolutely have to do. I've chosen work so I have blocked out 8.30 till 5 and I only work part time so I've only got the three days there. If you are studying or have a side job you need to make this a top priority as well. Basically, anything that's important to your lifestyle, make it a priority. Next thing you do is add your logistics. This is things like travel time and cooking, etc. So I have put in some time in the morning to get ready for work, 45 minutes to travel to work, an hour to drive back home because peak hour traffic, it always takes longer for me, and also half an hour or so to cook dinner. Next is the tasks that you need to do to make your living space more manageable. This is things like cleaning and maintenance. I have a cleaning schedule, so I only do a little bit of cleaning each day as opposed to cleaning the whole house in one day. Screw that. <laughs> then I will do the self-care tasks. These are things like meditation or exercise or any healthcare treatments that you need to do. So I block out half an hour to exercise in the mornings and a bit of time to meditate before I go to bed. And lastly is anything extra you want to add, such as time for reading, time for socialising, whatever's important to you. I'm leaving mine open because I've got a lot of stuff I have to do and I'll just have to sort that out later. <laughs> and you now should have something that looks like this. This is a very basic schedule. and. Basically, you just use it to see where your time is going and you may be able to find very quickly places where you are wasting your time and try and cut that back. For example, people who are working from home now, I bet you don't miss that driving to work and back. This will show you where you have some extra time left over as well to add in some more tasks, but it will also show you where you're putting in too much. You have to be realistic. You need downtime. You need time to enjoy your life and go out and have fun. So make sure you put in time for that. Now that your week is finished, extend this into fortnights, monthly, yearly, etc. And don't forget to keep checking it and updating it because a schedule is kind of useless if you don't look at it and use it. <laughs> so if you're still with me, you should know that this is a basic schedule, basically what's already in your head. The next step is to make a fully customised, decked out schedule with all the upgrades. Think of it as going from a rotary phone to a smartphone. Now a rotary phone works perfectly for what it's meant to be, but a smartphone tends to make things a lot easier, doesn't it? 
Creating a complete lifestyle schedule takes time as there are about 20 different categories to go through. These include things like errands, long-term goals, short-term goals, and so many more. I'll include a list in the description below so you can refer to it later. If you wish to create this schedule for yourself, please like and subscribe because I'll be making videos to cover all the categories. Give yourself a head start and begin writing yourself a list of everything you do and everything you want to do. And by everything, I mean everything. <laughs> I recommend an app called Cabana and I think it's amazing. It has columns that you can create and customize so you can make one for each category and then put in little sticky notes for each task. You can change their colors, you can move them around, you can edit them all kinds of ways and it's free. You can get a subscription and share it with others but I don't need a subscription so it doesn't cost me a thing. <laughs> Next week I'll be making a video called How to Increase Your Productivity so you can tighten up those tasks and try and get some more time out of your day. I'm also happy to answer any questions that you may have. Just put them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you next week. Bye!